He said, oh, give thanks to the Lord, call upon his name, make known his deeds among the people, sing to him, sing praises to him, tell of all his wondrous works, glory to his holy name. Let the hearts of those who seek the Lord rejoice. Seek the Lord and his strength, seek his presence continually. Remember the wondrous works he has done, his miracles, and the judgments he uttered. Remember the wondrous works he has done. I see my friend Beatrice here, and every, uh, every Monday and Friday, you know, one of her things that she says in her prayers is she thanks God for this new day. A day in which she's never experienced, a day in which you'll never experience again. So much power in that, in that verse. So much power in those words because yesterday you had troubles, didn't you? <laughs> yesterday you, were, you had some worries and some concerns. And that God of miracles stepped into that situation and through some miracle of grace, you made it through, didn't you? And how easy it is then for me to wake up on this Tuesday morning and put that right back on the plate. But if I'm reflecting upon him properly, then I'm seeing that I can praise him for what he did because he he brought me through that situation yesterday. And he may not have solved it, but he gave me everything that I needed in order to, to get through. So if I'm thinking about him properly, if I'm exalting him, if I'm seeing him in the fullness of all he is, then I have reasons to rejoice and give thanks. Because if he did it yesterday, he'll do it again. 